A big congratulations to Chidema Adet Shino on emerging as the queen for all African queens in the continent. So she won Miss Africa Crown, she won Miss Oceania, she won Miss Nigeria Universe and emerged as the first runner-up of Miss Universe. This is a big lesson for everyone guys, not to give up. No matter the challenges, no matter the trials, no matter the obstacles you face in life, even if your enemies are fighting against you, trust me guys, your success story is going to be their weak point. Now, quickly, let us look at Chidima's prize for emerging as the first runner up because some persons are asking, ah, it's like Chidima is not going to be given anything. No. Guys, just listen. This first, this, uh, the secular read, the first runner up of the 2024 Miss Universe contest receives a prize package that includes a hundred thousand dollars wow hundred thousand US dollars in cash a luxury apartment in New York City for the duration of their reign and travel expenses covered for all Miss Universe related activities additionally they receive a diamond encrusted crown valued at 5.5 million US dollars and the opportunity to participate in various charitable initiatives and public speaking engagements. Guys, what else she demand define? A hmm? hundred thousand US dollars in cash alone. Do you know how much that is in an era today? That is almost 200k, man. That's about 1.7 uh, 170 million over that amount anyway and also all expense paid and if she decides to sell this account were valued at 5.5 million us dollars i think she can do that yeah or do you think the she will return it so that they can hand it over to the next to her successor <laughs> i don't know anyway but guys these benefits are just too much mm? it's too much oh. guys i'm just so happy for her because this girl eh, she has gone through a lot she has been through a lot at least you all know the challenges that she faced on this journey. You know, for those of you who have been following this channel, it wasn't easy for her, especially when our brothers and sisters, I'm talking about the South Africans, they descended on her like James Bond. They descended on her with tribalism, envy, hatred. But she no agree. She said no, I no agree for anybody. Because you guys remember that that was the theme of 2024, no grief for anybody she stood a grand gate by and she focused and look at where she is today trust me if it was another person they would have given up long time ago they would feel the press you know but the boldness of chidema adetchino <laughs> it's made her to 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 stand it made her to face her fears so with this courage now she's going to face more offers from big companies international companies and big brands in fact guys our first year after this achievement of course it's one year you know it's gonna be busy and a lot of traveling to different countries both for business purposes relaxations vacations and guess what guys just as i read from the gist all expense paid trip all are traveling are already covered so even if she say make she go Casablanca, make she go shit, then go cover that expenses. If she go um, Afghanistan, if, uh, Afghanistan, if she go Amsterdam, say she won't go peace for there. They don't cover them up. They are going to pay for her. A name should be added to the dictionary. Chidema, who God bless, no xenophobic hater can cause. Chidema's haters, guys, they are indeed, they were the biggest motivators for this girl. And she turned the big obstacles into opportunities of a lifetime. Some are saying that Chidema is more beautiful than the Denmark lady who won the Miss Universe crown. But guys, I don't really think that is necessary. I don't say stuff like this. We like to digress. We like to bring in some, you understand, some unnecessary, you know. But in the, the important thing is that this girl has already won it. I mean, after all, that's not even the criteria to be declared Miss Universe. So, guys, let me take reactions from what Nigerians are saying about this um, Chidema's victory. This first person here tweeted, The greatness that awaits her is going to be crazy. We are super proud of her. She's going to do so well. The world aren't ready. Chichi is Chichi of the Most High. Thank you. 
for standing strong and blocking the noise for our country people in Nigeria who boosted our confidence. You you are the real MVP. Okay, and this person here tweeted, congratulations to Chidi Madeshina and Akriu Silver Bed Group. All Nigerians, both home and in the diaspora, who voted for her to achieve this first runner-up feat in Mexico. We are indeed proud of you. That's the spirit of a super girl. God bless you. This person here tweeted, wow, she bagged double title. That's awesome. Really, really glad she made it in spite of all the humiliation from SA. It was just too much. A weaker person will not be able to survive it or even push further, but will be depressed fairly. Congratulations. Just like I said, you know, I said that um, if it was some other persons, you know, who are not determined, who are not focused, they will lose, they will be depressed and they will lose focus, they will be discouraged. So, the next person here Twitter is, you know, four big South Africans came for her and succeeded in the withdrawal of her citizenship. She ran to Nigeria, but VDM welcomed her with problems. Miss Nigeria, Miss Universe Nigeria, first runner-up for Miss Universe 2024, first lady to survive VDM attack, single mother, Miss Universe Nigeria. Okay, I uh, never knew this guy is a single mother. Anyway, this other person here tweeted, Congratulations, Miss Chidema, Vanessa, additional Miss Nigeria, Miss Universe Nigeria, and first runner-up for Miss Universe 2024. Another normal Nigeria story. You are an inspiration to everyone out there. No excuses for failure. She had more than enough. Okay, and this person here tweeted, This is the girl... The, this is the girl people say she shouldn't have won the Miss Nigerian or something. God, I beg. I didn't watch the pageantry here in Nigeria. Only heard of the outcry that she wasn't fit to win, to win it. And since the Mexico, since the Mexico team, this is the only video I've seen of her. She sounds smart. No. So, on what basis should she not have won here in Nigeria, please. Was there a better person in the pool that would have read Nigeria better, represent Nigeria better? Okay, uh, everybody just get, get on to talk shop. All what I'm going to say is congratulations to Chidema. Of course, she got one year to, you know, to do her activities. I mean, to represent as the, the first runner-up Whatever she wanna do, I'm very sure that they are going to be there for her. Aside from this benefit that she even got as a first runner up, this um, this hundred thousand US dollar cash, the whatever, whatever, I'm able to go. I'm very sure that many other persons are going to give her. In fact, I'm sure that our governor, actually, I've forgotten the state she came from, but the governor, I'm very sure that is also going to maybe probably make her, you know, ambassador, make her youth, you know, you know how they do their things now. So. Congratulations to you, Chidema Adeshina. It's not easy. They say it's not over until it is over. But Chidema has proven to us that, see, we got to get where we are going to until we reach, until we see the lights at the end of the channel. So, guys, this is what I'm Just kindly like this video, share this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.